guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about refreshing my wardrobe for 2021, particularly focusing in on luxury accessories. So this is a kind of combined haul video slash wish list slash bags I've sold and why video. I have done a few bag sales recently, so I'm going to be going over some of the bag styles I sold and why, as well as what I replaced those items with and what else is on my wish list for the coming year. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being sponsored by Farfetch, who I have worked with so many times before now, and I know so many of you already love and shop with them, but if you're not familiar with Farfetch, if you missed all those other videos, then Farfetch are basically an online shopping destination for luxury goods. And what is completely unique and amazing about Farfetch is that when you shop with them, you're actually shopping from boutiques all around the world. And because of that, the stock selection is incredibly vast. You type in any search term you will just get pages and pages of results and it's just the most incredible shopping experience. Everything that I'm featuring here today in terms of my wish list slash haul items are available from Farfetch so I will include links to everything in the description section below if you did want to check anything out. I do also have a discount code for you guys so you can get 10% off your order and it's off so many incredible items including a Saint Laurent which I know is always such a popular one. I will pop all the details down below. There are some T's and C's so it is only available for new customers but I will put all the details in the description section along with that code which I'll also pop on screen as well if you did want to check it out. Okay, so starting off with some new in items as well as some items that are currently on my wish list. First up is a belt and I have been eyeing this up for the longest time. If you followed my channel for a while, you'll probably be aware that I've really gotten into my belts over the past, I guess say two years. It starts off with the Gucci Marmont belt and then I got my Louis Vuitton belt, got a Valentino one and I just absolutely love their ability to transform an outfit with just one accessory and obviously you can do that with a bag but belts often come at a much lower price point but they can make just as much of an impact so I love the whole design of belt trend I think it's so great and such an easy one to adopt these obviously aren't cheap but they really do have the power to completely transform your outfit at a much lower cost than a luxury bag and the one I got was the Salvatore Ferragamo belt I am so excited about this and I particularly love the fact that it's reversible they do a whole variety of them but I don't believe that every single one of their belts is reversible so I knew I wanted one that I could wear both ways. This one I haven't taken the tags off yet because I do think I'm going to exchange it for the next size down. I have a running thing where every single belt I get I almost never get the right size because they do seem to vary from designer to designer but this one absolutely does fit but I think I'm going to go down one just so I have a bit less excess belt. Nevertheless, I am so happy with the style. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a slightly tougher leather, so I'm hoping it's going to be very, very durable. It has this beautiful grained quality, and the color is the perfect nude. It is so, so pretty. It does have gold hardware. I always love my gold hardware, and it's a really, really pretty shade of gold, so it's not too yellow or in your face. It's just really subtle, and then on the other side, it's black, so very practical. It is so beautiful to look at. The quality seems to be really good as well. I don't have the biggest experience of Salvatore Ferragamo but from longtime fans I always hear how amazing the quality of their products is so I'm hoping this is going to do me very well and I'm just so in love with the style. It's absolutely gorgeous. I very much got this as a kind of higher waist belt so I'm mainly planning on wearing this with skirts. I don't tend to wear these kind of belts with jeans anymore. I mostly wear them with skirts and with dresses but I absolutely love the look and as I said I just think it's such a great way to transform your outfit and I am so in love with this one. Next up is a wish list item and this is a pair of boots I've had my eye on for a while now and I think these are so incredibly beautiful. They're the boots from Paris, Texas who I believe are a bit more of a newer designer but I think their styles are so beautiful. They're kind of known for their mock rock. They do these beautiful knee-high styles with both a block heel and a slimmer heel and I just think these are the coolest looking boots. Going into last winter, or I should say this winter because we're still in the middle of it, I was fairly sure I was gonna get a pair, but then the year just unfolded the way it did and it just seemed silly to invest in a pair of knee-high, high-heeled boots when I didn't have any place to wear them. So 
I'm keeping my fingers and toes crossed that the second half of this year is going to be a bit more normal. So I might tick these off when it comes to next winter, but these are definitely some that are on my wish list. And as soon as I have a place to wear them, I definitely want to add them to my wardrobe. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And next up is a new in bag that I got. And this is a direct replacement for something that I parted ways with. And I was just gonna show you the bag, but I received this in the most amazing box. I wanted to share the box as well because I was so excited about it. You Usually Saint Laurent bags don't come in boxes, at least not in the larger sizes. You will usually get them with a wallet on a chain, but certainly when it comes to the bigger styles, you don't typically get a box. So I was so excited to see this. It came in this incredible silver box. It's kind of like a shiny silver foil all over. It is so, so beautiful. And it had a ton of that tissue paper. And then inside is the dust bag. And inside, I am so excited about this bag. Oh my goodness. It is still with the wrapping, so I haven't kind of properly undone it yet. It is a Lulu puffer style in the most gorgeous nude color with the gold hardware. So this is a direct replacement for the suede version that I had. I'm gonna talk about that in a second, um, but I saw this and I was just instantly obsessed. I love my nude colors. I love the puffer line and this is basically a combination of all my favorite things. I think it is so beautiful. So I've gone ahead and undone all the packaging so you can see the beautiful gold hardware and the leather straps. So great, such a comfortable bag to wear and this is just combining all of my favorite things. You guys know how much I love the puffer line. It's so light, so comfortable to wear and the leather is just so lovely and smushy and soft but it's also very hard wearing as well and this color combination just completely got me. I love gold hardware and with the nude I just think this is so stunning. I'm hopeful as well because it is light color it will mean I can wear it all year round. I do feel like the black one is a little bit more of a winter bag so this one I'm hoping will be a little bit more seasonless and I just think it is so stunning so I will do an update if you guys are interested in it um, but yeah so so happy with this. I did also want to remind you that you can get 10% off your purchase, including a Saint Laurent bag. So you can get 10% off this one, as well as so many of their other styles, including the very, very popular Lulu line as well. Now for another new in piece I got, and I mentioned, I think it was a couple of months ago now that I've really kind of been getting more into my scarves and my twillies. And I just love this whole, it's not even a trend, I don't think, but I've never really dipped my toes into too many bag accessories before. And I just love their ability to transform your bag and really make it feel like a whole new style, even if you've had the bag for a while. I got the scarf and I just thought it was so incredibly beautiful. It is reversible as well. And I do love the Fendi scarf for that. So you can wear it both ways. On one side, you have this beautiful printed pattern. So kind of like a monogram. And then on the other, you have this slightly larger pattern. And it's almost like a watercolor print. Really lovely. There are so many different colors. So there are brown there are berry reds, some blue tones in there. Really lovely and I just think this looks amazing tied on top of the Fendi Peekaboo. I'm still loving the Peekaboo so much. I do think it's such a beautiful bag and I absolutely love the scarves that Fendi do. And then finally for my wish list, I do have my Saint Laurent Small Lulu and I know what you're thinking. I already have this bag here. I got this one just before Christmas. It's in the dark navy color with the gold hardware and I love it. I think it is so incredibly beautiful but I'm not gonna lie. I I do also have the nude one with gold hardware also on my wish list. I have no plans to get it just yet, uh, mainly because I really want to enjoy the ones I have. Um, I've gone a few Lulu styles in the past few months, so I want to enjoy what I have for now. But if I continue to love them as much as I have been, then I definitely want to add the nude one with gold hardware towards the end of the year. If they have another price increase, that might encourage me to get it sooner. Um, but otherwise, definitely one I hope to add in 2021, albeit in the latter part. So onto the bags I sold and why portion of the video now. And I would say that there is nothing fundamentally wrong with any of the styles I am talking about. As you can see from the first portion of the video, I was really just making room for styles which I thought might work for me a little bit better, or I might just get a little bit more use out of. So first up are suede styles, and I did part ways with two of my suede bags. So there was my Saint Laurent envelope bag in the suede, along with my Lulu puffer style also in the suede in the small size. 
size and I loved both these bags. I thought they were so, so beautiful. The main driving force behind this decision was I was planning on getting a, another beige kind of suede style. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and really I kind of wanted to minimize the number of light suede bags I had. And the whole reason behind that was because of the weather. I did not realize the difference in weather that we'd experience. I knew that London has pretty mild weather in general. I know it's a running joke that London is very rainy, but truth be told, it's gloomy a lot of days, but it doesn't actually rain that much. That is not the case here at all. And we're not actually that far from London. I think we're about an hour and 40 away from Heathrow, which is actually closer than I was in London. But oh my goodness, the weather is so much more extreme here. If you follow me on Instagram, you will probably have seen my kind of snow updates. It's currently snowing. We've had crazy weather. And when it hasn't been snowing, it's been raining like all the time. And I just didn't realize how much different it would be up here than it was down in London. So that has definitely made me a lot more aware of the bags I have and how many more kind of delicate bags I own. I'm fine still with kind of darker suede. I don't think that's as much of an issue, but certainly with light colored suede bags, I did just want to be a little bit more practical. So I swapped out my kind of small Lulu puffer style for the leather version. And I just decided to part ways with my envelope style just for reasons of practicality. Which brings me on to my padded cassette bag from Bottega Veneta. I love this bag and I think it's so, so beautiful. I did end up selling my blue one because I wanted to purchase the suede one in the lighter color. So my kind of reasoning was I'd part ways with my two Saint Laurent suede styles and get the padded cassette in this colorway. They were very similar and a bit too similar for me to justify having all of them. Um, what I didn't realize was, I guess the kind of texture of the padded cassette. I did actually of this and I will insert photos because I did take a couple of photos and honestly I was just really underwhelmed. I didn't think that the suede was a very nice quality. I'd seen this bag so much in this particular colorway and I'd been lusting after it so much. I like the blue one but it was quite a bright pop of color especially for a little bit more of a statement bag so I decided to get something a little bit more neutral um, but yeah I was just really really underwhelmed by the suede quality and I guess I was coming off the back of the Saint Laurent bags and I always think that Saint Laurent do amazing suede and amazing velvet so maybe it was unfair comparison but you know definitely not a cheap bag and considering the price I really thought I should be a bit more wowed by the quality and then the Jody, which I had been lusting after for so long came back in stock in the color that I wanted and so I decided to go for this one instead. I'm not saying no to the padded cassette because I really did love the style. I think it's so beautiful and quirky but I'm going to see how I get along with this. I'm also mindful of the fact as well that obviously we're not going out very much at the moment. Um, so I'm going to see how I get along with the Jody and get my kind of Bottega fix through this and then revisit the padded cassette later on in the year. But yeah, that was kind of a bit of a disappointing one. I probably should have tried to see the padded cassette and the suede in real life before I went for it. But Obviously with shops not being open, it's that much harder now. Um, but nonetheless, I am very, very happy with my Jodie style. Next up is my Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. And again, same kind of thing applies in that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the style. I think it's so cute and adorable. And if you love your mini bags and you like Saint Laurent, I still think it's a wonderful, wonderful choice. Only reason I parted ways with it was because I wanted to make room for my small Lulu and I don't want to become a completely crazy bag lady. Maybe that ship has sailed, but I want to try and mitigate the damage a little bit. And I just love the small size just that little bit more. I love the chain. I mentioned before how versatile I find it. And I do always find that a chain just adds that kind of hardware element that does make it just a little bit more versatile for day to night. Whereas the Toy Lulu with the all leather strap, makes it just a tiny bit more casual. It is a very comfortable bag to wear, but I always found myself reaching for my small Lulu styles. And so I just decided if I wanted to get this one, I didn't really have any need or use for the Toy Lulu. So again, nothing wrong with the style. I still would definitely recommend if you love your mini bags. I just know how much I love and enjoy the small Lulu size. And then finally, the last bag that I wanted to talk about was my Chanel DeVille tote. I got so many questions about this and why I was selling it. And it's pretty much the same answer answer as the others in that I just wanted to make a little bit more room and this wasn't specifically to fund another purchase but as many of you will know I did get my other Chanel DeVille tote which you can kind of see there in the corner for my birthday and I've 
just been so excited about that. I think it's so gorgeous and I just didn't know if I had room in my collection for two DeVille totes, especially with the knowledge of, you know, we don't get incredible California summers here and vacations are obviously getting fewer and far between because of the current situation. And I know, or I hope that this isn't gonna last forever, but I didn't want to be taking up kind of bag space in my collection with only very occasional use bags. I did think that my Pearl DeVille tote just kind of fit the bill really nicely. And I'm just so excited about that, that I thought I would let my original blue and white one go to a better home. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As promised, I will leave links to everything I featured in the description section below, along with all the details of that discount code if you did want to check it out. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment and let me know what's on your wish list for the coming year. I would love to hear about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.